Dreams for You, another episode, and I hope that nobody gets tired of me throwing the Vanda Denisoniana at you one more time while she is still around, looking gorgeous. And as per usual, thank you so very, very much for being here. I have some beautiful blooms to dedicate to some named viewers, but here, once again, my Vanda Denisoniana, she is blooming for everybody that has clicked on this video as a thank you for your support and for watching. I really appreciate it. All right, some gorgeous gems are lined up for this video. So let's go and have a look-see. Look who's back. Sologeny Lime Bay. This first bloom of my growth of 2021, I would like to dedicate to Michelle Spivery. I hope that you like greenish tinged blooms, Michelle. This is a challenge to always film. We're going to give it a go because oh, so good to have this bloom back. Last year when I started my channel, this was one of the blooms that kept coming on and over and over again as part of the um, Blooms for You series because of the sequential blooming habit of this bloom. And I could dedicate each bloom as we went along to my viewers and commenters and for that I was very very grateful because I want to get to everybody that comments and subscribes and say thank you. So Sologeny Lime Bay came up a lot and I think I had like 13 blooms on one growth and then I did manage to have two growths with two bloom spikes towards the end of the season and then I had to cut the spikes off it was just getting a little bit too much for the orchid which is now doing quite well, as you can see. That beautiful growth is already in spike. The fragrance is still something left to be desired. I'm not a big fan of dusty room smell. <laughs> I like fresh air, a lot of it. And that is what she has. She has that dusty room smell. It's not unpleasant, but you know, you just want to go and open the window and let some fresh air into a room. And that is her fragrance. Needless to say, here we already have the second bud on its way. One day this bloom will have just dropped off to make room for the next one. But Michelle Spivery, at this point in time, here's my Sologeny Lime Bay to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Very much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. Hope that your summer is what a summer should be. <laughs> your support is very, very much appreciated. My Sologeny Lime Bay, first bloom on the spike of 2021 goes to you. Gotta move quickly here with area hyacinthoides, otherwise I'm going to miss the most opportune moment to dedicate my six spikes to Irene Brock, Diana or Diana. One, tr -tr 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 -tr. I don't know what that is, but awesome. Three Rivers, Richard S and Sonia Ku. I'm just going to list the names on the screen in case I mispronounce any, <laughs> especially tr -tr 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 -tr. Somebody must like their whistles. Let me know if that is you. I think it is amazing. I also love knowing why people choose the names they do if they don't have their own name as an account. But tr -tr 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 -tr. very, very interesting. Back to Irene Brock, Diana or Diana, Three Rivers, Richard S and Sonia Ku. Let's tidy my area up because seriously, these spikes go quickly and with the weather conditions getting a little bit hotter and everything getting a bit drier, they are going to fade much quicker than they normally would. But I'm going to give her a little bit of a spin and a whirl so that you can see all the spikes that she is throwing out at the moment. And yes, they've all come out at the same time, so they'll all be gone pretty much at the same time, but this is them at their prime. There's one down here. A little bit of a floppy one. But other than that, I mean, she is beautiful. To me, I will always see a lily of a valley in her. But yeah, no, I, I, I do love 
these cute little white blooms. Just such a shame that they are so short-lived. And now with the weather being as it is, even shorter, I would assume. No fragrance, thank goodness, but at least I have six spikes and I can dedicate them and say thank you to Irene Brock, Diana or Diana. One, tr -tr 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 -tr. three rivers, Richard S and Sonia Kuo. Sorry if I mispronounced any of these names, I do apologize. Once again, let me know in the comments below because I want to say a proper thank you to you for supporting my channel, for being here, our interaction, not always on the daily, but when we do, I always love seeing your names pop up in the comments section. Here are my lush six spikes from my area, Hyacinthoides, who blooms for you, all of you. Thank you, everybody. Oh my goodness, what I see in the viewfinder, oh, oh, just warms my heart. And I would like to say thank you to Jan Harkness for your support on my channel with my sixth Phalaenopsis Leodoro Sweet Memory Bloom. I've lost one bloom already. I don't know, that happened relatively quickly because these blooms are long lasting. So I'm surprised that I lost my first one so quickly. This one here is my second one. And then the whole cluster here on the other spike. Oh, but my goodness, beautiful. I normally don't cut my spikes off on Phalaenopsis if I can help it. This was an exception because these two spikes are new to the plant. I used to have another two spikes and I cut them off because despite being a sequential bloomer, when these blooms opened, they were bigger and richer in color than the other spikes that I had from years gone by. So. I made the decision to cut them off and give this orchid the chance to do her own thing on the new spikes. And wow, was that worth it. It's not something I'm really comfortable doing because we want more spikes and more blooms. It certainly was worth it. What a difference in the quality of the blooms on the new spikes as opposed to the ones that were a couple of years old. And the fragrance, you guys. Jan, my blooming alley. She is a little bit, you know, I have to go a bit on tiptoes where she lives so that I can smell her. Oh, but I go on tiptoes a lot. Very, very beautiful. Think of it as if you were to walk into a candy shop. Not the chocolate kind of fragrance. The real sugar candy, fruity kind of fragrance. The waft when you walk in. Oh my goodness, that's exactly what she is. And you don't have to search for that fragrance. It is very, very obvious. It is beautiful enough to enjoy without becoming too much, too heavy. Absolutely love it. Jan Harkness, as a thank you for your support on my channel here, my sixth Phalaenopsis Leodoro Sweet Memory Bloom is for you. And I am so happy that you're here. Love having you here. Thank you so very, very much. There's something else I wanted to show you. Despite having dry climate, etc., look at what's happening here with this one root. Oh, I love it when I see this and it's not dying off, not desiccating. Oh, if I could just get more of the same going. Isn't that amazing how it just curls around the lecker? Beautiful. Just stunning and just standing here talking and filming. The fragrance is divine to say the least. She blooms for you, Jan Harkness. Bloom number six. Plant obsessed. I have a Papiopedalum Lindley Kupovitz bloom for you. This is my thank you to you for supporting my channel. And I thought I would put this bloom to your dedication because I don't do really that well with slipper orchids yet. I'm working on it. But this one, this Papiopedalum Lindley Kupowitz is the one that keeps me coming back to say I can do it. They're gonna be fine in my collection because every path or slipper orchid that I have in my collection really should be like her. Look at that, beautiful, lush, big fans. And what a reliable bloomer she is. My first year, my second year, my third year, you can tell 
the succession of the spikes. And every year she gives me a bloom. And what a bloom it is as well. And that is why, plant obsessed, I thought it would be great to give this bloom to you. Because I am a little obsessed with this bloom. First of all, she comes back every year, which is always a good thing. I love it. Secondly, she's fragrant. She's been open over a week now. I've been waiting for a little bit more fragrance on her. But, you know, there is still that beautiful hint of raspberry. Not as pungent, as intense as an anosmum would be. But a very, very faint, delicious raspberry kind of fragrance permeates my dining room where she lives. And every year, she gives me one bloom. I've had a little bit of mealybug issues this year. I don't know if the bloom's going to hold long enough but they've been brushed off on the daily. But yeah, plant obsessed. What I see in my viewfinder, I hope that you like when you see this video and know that your support here on Ninja Orchids is very, very much appreciated. And my Paphiopedalum Lindley Cooperwitz bloom of the year 2021 blooms for you. I really hope I can do this beautiful bouquet of my Dendrobium polyanthum justice because I really want to dedicate these blooms to Nicole Gertz, Linda Di Stefano, Maria Lopez, and Jean Beats or Jean Beats. And I'm going to try and protect my mic. I, it's very difficult to film white, in my opinion but I needed you to see it with a little bit of sunshine on them. And I really, really hope that I'm doing these blooms justice. I have 13 open at the moment, 14 is about to open. And then down here on the cane from last year, there's still a little bud down tucked in there. But I wanted to get these really, really fresh on film and not wait any longer because of my climate and the warming winds that are coming that are extremely, extremely dry. They are so pretty. It's like having the dendrobium of film, but in white. It's like they've erased the pink color and just left a few stripes in the lip. Let me see if I can zoom in to get a better view. And they sparkle in the sun. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. And they smell like licorice, sugared licorice. And they're pretty intense without being obnoxious, if that makes sense. I mean, there are fragrances that are amazing, but if you have too much of it, it could provoke a headache, no, but not with these. They are as delicate in their appearance as they are elegant in their fragrance. Best blooming I have ever, ever had on this Dendrobium of Film, and I'm super, super pleased. Nicole Gertz, Linda Di Stefano, Maria Lopez, and John Beats or Jean Beats. These blooms of my Dendrobium Polyanthum. Very, very happy to dedicate them all to you, to say a massive thank you so much for your support here on my channel as well. Let's get in one more time a little bit closer. I don't want to make this video too long, but wow. Just wow. Thank you, Nicole Gertz, Lina Di Stefano, Maria Lopez, and Jean or Jean Beat. Julie Ward, Phalaenopsis <laughs> Cornocervi, Variety Chateladay, in my collection, Variety Cheeky, because of what you see on the blooms, the markings. For me, that is a hard hat, two little eyes, and a grin. So, Phalaenopsis Cornocervi, Variety Chateladay. In Ninja Orchids, it is Cheeky. Love it, love it. And Julie Ward, I have a third bloom that has opened a couple of days ago. And here I am dedicating this bloom to you to say thank you to you as well for your support on my channel and for our interactions. I very, very much appreciate it. My Corno Survey is doing exceptionally well this year. I'm very, very pleased with what I'm seeing and I'll show you. But first of all, my last Blooms for You video, the two prior blooms here had just opened. Look at them. <laughs> they had just opened. And they were still not exuding their proper fragrance. So I likened it to like a wax paper, baking wax paper, something like that. Now, 
we have still a little bit of that waxy candle fragrance, but now full on powerful floral, stronger than a meadow with a hint of sweetness. Let's put it that way. So this tiny, tiny little bloom can actually produce a fragrance that's pretty substantial. With my Leodoro in my blooming alley, she doesn't stand a chance. She is not that strong. The Leodoro takes over, but never mind. She is close enough to stick the nose in and have a smell. And I'm saying she's doing really well because she's growing another spike right there, which is awesome. That'll be her second. I've never had more than one spike on her. And she's also in the back, which I'm really pleased to see, extending one of the roots that had dried out. So also a lot of misting going on right now with this orchid, just to make sure that I can maintain some root tips after my debacles this year. But yeah, Julie Ward, very, very happy to be able to give this bloom to you and say thank you so much for your support. Not that we're in competition or anything, but I just thought I would show you <laughs> who else is up here with my Vanda Denisoniana. Leopard John looking amazing. And look at that sky. Oh, isn't that a gorgeous color? Maybe it doesn't show well with blooms. The light being a little bit shadowy and the focus isn't working. Oh. One of my favorite blues out there. Anyway, thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. Your time is appreciated. Your support is very, very appreciated. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.